Hey guys, I have been missing in action, okay? And I'm going to explain to you where I have been and why. It's a vibe here. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Um, I am Janine. And um, if you are new, I just want to give you a little bit of backstory. I am a registered nurse. I have over 20 years of labor, delivery, recovery, postpartum, antepartum, nursery, you name it. I have had over 10 years in um, management in that specialty. Um, I'm certified in that specialty. And then in the last year, I took on a med surge director position um, for two floors, a staffing office and a float pool. Then in November, I left that job after 26 years of working in the hospital and went back to travel nursing. I was doing travel nursing concurrently for years and years and years. And then I took a full-blown travel assignment in November. After leaving my hospital uh, job, my maternity department closed um, in two, in a year ago, in September. Um, and I just was burnt out and I took a travel assignment um, and that ended on November the 16th. And I really wanted to just venture out and take a break from nursing and really see if it was really for me. Um, and concentrate on my gift basket business, which I did very, very well in the Christmas season. So, fast forward what has been going on. Bills continue, okay, to come, whether you are working or whether you are not. I did have some reserve, um, which I was very comfortable with staying at home. My plan was to not even continue a travel assignment until sometime in January anyway. So, I was really comfortable with being off from work from November till January. Um... So, during a travel assignment, you do get travel assignment benefits, okay? Were they the best? Absolutely not. The day that you end that travel assignment, your benefits are cut off. Now, if you choose to extend and they know ahead of time that you are extending, then you will be able to carry benefits up to 24 days in between your next assignment. So my assignment ended November 16th. I had to have insurance. I still have kids in high school, a kid in college. I have to have benefits and for my husband and myself. So once that ended, I had to pay for benefits. Now you see all these commercials out here that's talking about you can get benefits for $10 a month and this, this and that, and it was the enrollment period and everybody was probably getting phone calls and emails about it. That's a bunch of baloney. To um, pay for benefits for my family for the month of December, I paid $2,300 and enrolled my family back into Horizon Blue Cross and Blue Shield of New Jersey, which I absolutely love. They are my favorite. And that included dental and vision and for, um, prescriptions. And I guess that's everything. You know, ER visits, all that kind of stuff. Okay, $2,300 a month is a lot of money. All right. Um, I did make a video before about how much money I made from November to the end of December, whatever, during the Christmas season, whatever, as my first time selling gift baskets full time. And I made a thousand dollars, 1056. I think it would say, but watch my previous video. Okay. So that's $2,300 in benefits. I still have a mortgage. I still have bills. I still have utilities. Okay. I still have cars. I have insurance. I have kids. I have groceries. Okay. And that that amount of money would not last me forever, okay? Especially when you were paying insurance. Um, so I then realized that I needed to get another um, source of insurance that was not going to be so um, affordable. I mean, un unaffordable. So anyway, what I did was I went and found another insurance company online that would be more affordable. Um, first one, which is some type of sub some derivative, I guess you want to say, of Aetna, which was what I had in the travel assignment, and I cannot stand them. You have to get um, pre-authorizations. It's just very difficult. I accumulated hospital bills, I mean medical bills from them that I used on my travel assignment, and they really screwed me over. Not happy with them at all. So anyway, I could not continue at $2,300 a month to Rockwood Blue Cross Blue Shield. Okay, fine. So I found this other plan. Still had good coverage and everything else, but it's still not a major medical plan. And there's so many things about it that's like mm, leery. And I was just becoming uncomfortable. I'm paying $1,300 a month for that plan. Um, next payment coming up on February 1st. And again, when you have a reserve, you have savings, you have money in different areas. If you continue to use those reserves and without having any more income coming in, so you won't have any reserve. Okay. So it's actually becoming a little uncomfortable, okay? So I'm like, all right, girl, you said you were going to get your next travel assignment. It's time to start looking. 
My last travel assignment was an hour drive. These ones that are out there right now, which are slim to numb, none are like two hours, one hour, 45 minutes, two and a half hours. And in the beginning, the ones that were available during the daytime, I was contemplating and really not wanting to get up at like four o'clock in the morning, uh, three 45 in the morning to be driving to an assignment. And then what you so tired, you can't drive back. So now you're going to be spending money in house in hotels and all. I was just not with it. Okay. Not doing it. And now most of them was at night. That's absolutely out. I have literally escaped killing myself driving after travel assignments an hour and 45 minutes from my house and trying to commute to save the money in between and make the most of it because you are getting a stipend and you really don't want to be using that stipend on paying for hotels. You want to pocket that money. So I was just like, you know what? Travel is really looking like this is really not going to be successful. I'm kind of like not wanting to do it, but I really want to get money back. I want to get good insurance. I might have to do something for the time being. And I have not had any vendor events since the Christmas season. And even though Valentine's is coming up, there still aren't any vendor events or anything going on like that right now. So, you know, I have been making my baskets. I, ha I have been able to um, have several Tumblr sales and some t-shirt sales. That's my husband making all this crazy noise. T-shirt sales to still bring income in, but I want some consistency. So, I, like I said, oh, I was able to secure an... Um, a site where I'm going to be able to sell on the street, which is something that I have not done previously. And but if you don't stop going ah and all that stuff, the, um, I am going to, <laughs> I am about to do um, that for Valentine's Day. It's at a um, a four way stop, a very busy intersection at a gas station that my husband knows the owner there. So I think we're going to do very well there for doing my Valentine's Day baskets. But anyway, long story short. I applied, which I found on Indeed, a nurse manager position at a long-term care facility um, five days a week, Monday through Friday, eight to four, no weekends, no holidays. So when, and I'm, I'm not a long-term facility girl, okay, but I do know the DON there. I know the ADON there. Um, I know several other nurses supervisors that work there, the staff there. Um, my daughter did work there as a hospital, uh, not a hospitality, at an activities aid when she's home from college in the summertime, and she absolutely loves going there. So, whatever. It's out of my comfort zone, but you know what? Okay, I could probably do anything. I am really well-versed in leadership, so I applied. That bail boy application wasn't in there one day. They was already on my phone. So, I did take the position. I am on orientation. The hours are phenomenal for me. Um, it's... It's different, but the level of stress that I did have at my other job and the reason why I left and everything, I'm not finding that here so far. Again, I am on orientation, but it works for me and the benefit package is amazing. It's going to put me right back on Horizon Blue Cross and Blue Shield, okay? And so for $2,300 a month, we're talking about now like $190, I think, a pay period. So $190 twice a month. You can't beat that, okay? And I get everything that I could want and more. And they offer pet insurance, a 401k plan, like the benefit package and the compensation that they offer me was phenomenal. So that is what I've been doing. That is why I've been sleeping on videos because I'm just trying to get myself acclimated to being back into the workforce and doing something that's totally different that has nothing to do with um, my specialty. But um, I'm just going to see how this flies, y'all. And again... When ain't nothing going on with the rent, baby, you got to still come up with things. And my husband's job does not have benefits. So even though it's an income source, the benefit factor is major. And, you know, it doesn't mean that I'm unsuccessful or I'm giving up. I'm not. I'm just going to continue to do what I'm doing and do it a different way. And as spring comes around and more vendor events happen and everything on the weekend, then I will still have that income as well. And then, you know, a year from now, things could change. Who knows? As more people see my products um, and I'm getting more people to want like specialty baskets and tumblers and T-shirts and things like that. Um, that's just more income and word of mouth is the best. OK. And like when my son scored his a thousand points the other night and I printed all those sweet sweatshirts up and T-shirts, people were like, oh, my God, I love your shirts. Where'd you get them from? It's like, oh, I made them. So, you know, there's just different things going on um for me but i'm still here and i'm still pressing on and i still have my own business on the side which it is right now it's not my main but um i'm just going to keep striving and i'm blessed and i just have this opportunity that i'm going to just feel it out and see how how it goes and um i will be on the weekends and after work still i came in the other night and was making some baskets and stuff but i just didn't post them um but 
I'm still here. So um, it's a vibe. Appreciate you guys. I'm getting pretty close to 500 subscribers. I know that may sound cheesy, but when you starting off at the bottom, baby, 500 is fantastic. I remember when I was on here and had 17. And now, oh, excuse me, y'all. I'm up to like, I think I might be at 400. Maybe I'm at 397. I'm getting there. So anyway, I thank you. I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, and again, I'm going to be making some videos with my baskets. And when I do sell on the street, at that location that I mentioned, I might do a live so y'all can see what's going on there. So um, that's it for now. Thanks again, and I will catch up with you guys.